What's up guys, Fuad here, back on Viper Sport, back in the building with another video. We are still repping the Viper Sport jumper every day. I'm not taking it off, okay? I'm, I'm just going to wash it, stand there with no clothes on, and then and put it back on, okay? It's always going to be on. Anywho, first of all, also, let's appreciate the new mic stand. My last one broke, but now I can move my hands again and not have to hold the beautiful mic. We are just perfect. Let's get into today's video. It is another transfer update. It's a weekly transfer update. It's transfer talk, the second episode of transfer talk. And basically what we do here is since the TikTok transfer videos have become a uh, kind of a demand we are making a longer version of three uh, subjects that I take that I feel like uh, that I can give you a bit more insight on and then we talk about it on on uh, the YouTube channel so yeah hope you enjoy this make sure to subscribe if you haven't make sure to go and uh, follow all our social media accounts if you haven't done that also but anyway let's get into it today the first topic we're talking about is about Paul Pogba there's many rumors on what's next for Paul Pogba first thing first is that his contract expires in less than 12 months months he still hasn't signed a new one as that's one of the major talking points is he going to sign or is he going to go to another club there's been many rumors about Real Madrid wanting him for a very long time now and yeah who wouldn't want Paul Pogba in their team I mean a prime Paul Pogba is one of the best players around these days so yeah there's been many talks about him leaving or maybe signing a new contract nothing's been confirmed as of yet the reason why him leaving was a bit more speculated is because last summer he actually said that he wanted to move and, and try and find a new challenge the season hasn't been the greatest for him he's pretty much had like an injury fill season but he's come back now and he's trying to help Man United uh, achieve their maximum potential he helped Man United win another game this week and he scored in that game and after the match he was asked what's next for Paul Pogba he replied with right now I've been injured for a very long time I focus on myself to get back and help the team as much as I can we have two goals to go for the Europa League and the FA Cup we focus on that since we've come back we've seen him build up a great relationship with Bruno Fernandes who's recently signed with Manchester United and that play between the two could actually convince him to stay because they are playing really good football at the moment but Man United also need money to sign the likes of Jadon Sancho and Dembele they've been talking about as well so would they just let him go to get that money to sign these other players? I think I think they wouldn't do that because Paul Pogba is too big of a player to, to sell like that, especially for youngsters who, you know, who aren't exactly proven in the Premier League. So you'd keep him and they'd probably give him a contract extension, especially at the fact that he probably wants to stay now after his relationship with Bruno Fernandes and, and how he's performing. Let me know what you think. Do you think Pogba will stay at Man United or is he going to leave very soon? All right, the second piece of news that we've got here is about Philip Coutinho. Now, obviously, Philip Coutinho, former Premier League man, former Liverpool man. Uh, we know his talents. His talents are ridiculous. He went over to Barcelona, then went over to Bayern Munich on loan. He's been a bit of a mystery man ever since. You know, we've not heard massive things about him. He's done good here and there. We've seen a few highlights, but you know, it's kind of gone under the radar a little bit for me. There's been talks about him coming back to the Premier League, like Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United, all linked with him. But this surprising thing is that Philip Coutinho is actually linked with a move back to Liverpool. That's right. After all the drama that happened at Liverpool, he's been linked back with the move. And some former Premier League players are saying that Liverpool should sign him. We've got a little post here from former Aston Villa striker Gabriel Agbonlahor. He's urged Liverpool to bring back Philip Coutinho. He said, for me, I'd go out there and get Coutinho back. I'd probably say you have to apologise for the way you left, but come back. For me, he is what Liverpool are missing in there. You can even play Coutinho where Firmino plays if Firmino isn't doing it. The way Firmino plays, it looks like he's just told by Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah, we're having the shots. Yeah, I kind of agree with Abdel there. I think Liverpool, you know, bringing him back, obviously, at first, it's going to be like a bit of a iffy one because I'm sure a lot of the fans won't be happy in terms of, you know, the way he left. But you have, the fans have to think about the, the whole team as a as a unit because, you know, yeah, granted, they won the league this season, they won the Champions League. But, you know, we've seen holes in them. And I mentioned this in a video, like two or three videos ago, about how Liverpool may not win the title next season. They they could do with someone like Philip Coutinho coming in and, and, and making some changes into that team because adding Philip Coutinho to the team they've got now would be brilliant. They need to make some changes um, and it really wouldn't harm them to have him back in the side. Lastly, we're going to talk a little bit about Havertz. I've mentioned a few things on uh, on him on my TikTok. We all kind of know where he stands at the moment. He's been rated at 70 million, but Bayern Leverkusen have put a 90 million pound price tag on him. Chelsea are a bit iffy to pay that. They don't know if it's worth it. They obviously got to buy... Um, they're looking at a fullback to buy. They're looking at a goalkeeper to buy. I think they have got the money unlike other clubs because they haven't spent in the last transfer window. But do they really want to spend 90 million on a guy who's not proven in the Premier League but is highly, highly rated overseas because... 
of his talents and his diversity on the pitch. Havertz has actually told Bayern Leverkusen that he wants to leave the club and I think he's kind of making it clear that he wants to go to Chelsea. Real Madrid are kind of in the race. Chelsea are leading the front line at the moment. He has got a two-year contract still left at Leverkusen so that's why I think the price tag is a little bit extra on him. I think Chelsea will end up getting him. Obviously Timo Werner is his teammate in Germany. Werner could persuade him, uh, add a few words in there but I think it's eventually going to come down to the clubs and how they agree a deal. The, the agents of Havertz are talking about a deal that he can make both sides happy so we'll look into it i think i think it's i think it's almost a hundred percent that Havertz has signed for chelsea nothing on paper or anything yet but it's like highly highly likely now that he will sign and i'm telling you now that chelsea attack oh my god it's going to be different next season honest to god but anyway there you go guys that is your transfer talk for this week not as exciting as last week i don't think but we got some key points in there if you enjoyed this make sure to subscribe if you're new around here make make sure to subscribe other than that i'll catch you on the next video guys